हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल सी द टॉपिक ऑफ सुपर चार्जिंग एंड टर्बो चार्जिंग टिल नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड स्टीम जनरेटर एंड बॉयलर आईसी इंजन कंपोनेंट्स देन एसआई इंजन इन डिटेल सीए इंजन लास्ट वीक वी हैव स्टडीड परफॉर्मेंस टेस्टिंग ऑफ आईसी इंजन एंड वी हैव सॉल्व सम न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन परफॉर्मेंस टेस्टिंग आल्सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू द सुपर चार्जिंग एंड टर्बो चार्जिंग so as we have studied in previous units and previous topics this is the four stroke ic engine four stroke because the one cycle is completed in four stroke so here you can see the four different diagrams of the four stroke of ic engine suction compression power and exhaust so in suction stroke air is taken inside the cylinder in case of ci engine and in case of si engine charge that is air plus fuel mixture is taken inside the cylinder so when piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center the air is sucked due to the vacuum is created in the cylinder and at atmospheric pressure that air is taken atmospheric air is taken at atmospheric pressure inside the cylinder during this inlet valve is open and exhaust valve is closed so this air is required for the combustion of fuel the more air is taken inside the cylinder during suction stroke the effective combustion of the fuel can be possible and our vehicle in case of the automobile ic engine give more mileage and the more power output so on which the volumetric efficiency is also depends as we go on the high altitude the density of air decreases and we can take the less amount of air inside during the suction stroke it which hampers the power output as well as the volumetric efficiency and the mileage of vehicle also so that's why we have to do the supercharging so in this diagram you can see here only the symbolic representation of engine is shown and cylinder inlet this is the inlet valve so air atmospheric air is taken during the suction stroke through the compressor so here the compressor is additional unit is used through which we are taking the air to the engine during suction stroke this compressor takes air from the surrounding compress it and then it gives to the suction side of the compressor due to this presence of compressor the more air is taken inside the cylinder during suction stroke than without compressor and this method is called as the supercharging compressor compresses air due to which its density is increased and during the suction stroke when piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center the actually air which is taken according to this without using compressor is only equal to the volume of cylinder and at that particular temperature how much air it can accommodate only that much amount of air is taken inside but here due to the presence of compressor the air taken inside the cylinder or combustion chamber during suction stroke is more than the naturally aspirated engine the engine without such type of compressor is called as naturally aspirated engine and engine equipped with such type of compressor is called as super charging here you can see the input energy for this compressor is given by the crankshaft by using some belt drive sometimes by gear or chain drive also by using this this compressor runs so it takes energy from engine itself by connecting it to the crankshaft so we will see one by one advantages of supercharging so it is supercharging is nothing but the air compressor which is used for forced induction of air during suction stroke of the ic engine due to this more air is taken inside the 
cylinder have more oxygen available for combustion of fuel than the naturally aspirated engine as more oxygen is available the effective burning of fuel is possible and will get more output per cycle this compressor is driven by belt as shown in the previous diagram you can see how it is connected to the crankshaft by using some belt or by using some gear or chain connected to the crankshaft the use of such type of compressor or the use of supercharging compensate the loss of power at high altitudes as already i have told at high altitudes the density of air decreases and during the suction stroke the comparatively less amount of air is taken inside less mass of air is taken inside the combustion chamber due to the presence of supercharger the air get compressed and this loss at high altitudes is compensated due to the presence of supercharger volumetric efficiency also increases as we take more amount of air during the suction stroke but here there is a disadvantage of using such type of compressor which runs on the crankshaft or the output power of the same engine as it consumes around or maximum it can consume 20 percent of engine power so that much power is decreased so detonation tendency also increases due to presence of such type of supercharger in case of the si engines so already we have studied detonation and knocking in the previous lectures so we will not go in detail again of this so the detonation tendency also gets increased due to this presence here you can see the one more image of how supercharge work there is a compressor centrifugal compressor is shown it is connected with the help of some belt drive to the crankshaft and when air is taken inside the cylinder so it is coming through the compressor so that more and more air can be taken inside so that more oxygen will be available for combustion and the more power output per cycle so this is the effect of super along with supercharging there is a one more word is used is turbocharging now we'll see what is meant by turbocharging see here there is an engine with inlet and outlet is shown and air which is taken during the suction stroke through inlet wall is coming through the compressor so it is similar to the supercharging but here one difference you can see the exhaust of the engine is going through outlet and there is a turbine so this compressor which is required for the supercharging is driven by some turbine which works or which runs on the exhaust of same engine so here instead the compressor is somehow taking power from the crankshaft it is driven by some turbine which runs on the same engine's exhaust and such type of supercharger is called as the turbocharger and this method of supercharging is called as the turbocharging in some books you will study supercharging and turbocharging under different heads and in some books you will see that turbocharging is one of the type of supercharging so here the arrangement is same the air is taken during the suction stroke through the compressor the compressor compresses that air due to the compression again more amount of air is taken more oxygen is available and more power output and one additional thing than the supercharging is this compressor is run by the turbine which is driven by the exhaust of the same engine the remaining advantages are again same so here you can see the compressor powered by the turbine driven by engines exhaust gas now we will discuss about the difference between supercharging and turbocharging so the turbocharging is a forced induction system that compresses the atmospheric air and send it to the engine cylinder in case of the supercharging supercharger is also a force induction system it compresses the atmospheric air and send it to the engine cylinder by taking power from same crankshaft 
in case of the turbocharging it uses exhaust gases for its energy whereas supercharger takes energy from the same crankshaft in supercharging the compressor uses centrifugal compressor or any other type of compressors also can be used it spins with a speed of around 50000 revolutions per minute 50000 rpm and it is not a coiter as compared to the turbocharging but it is more reliable because it is continuously getting power from the crankshaft crankshaft is continuously rotating so continuously the shaft of compressor in case of supercharger it is running so it is more reliable supercharger can deliver their boost at lower rpm also due to the continuous working the compressed air from supercharger is at lower temperature in comparison with the turbocharger but then also in some cases uh, intercooler also can be used the compressed air temperature can be decreased before sending to the combustion chamber or the cylinder in case of the turbocharger we most of the times need intercooler so that the air which is whose temperature get increased in the compressor can be decreased so that it will further increases the volumetric efficiency and the spinning speed may be up to 1,50,000 rpm in case of the turbo charging the system of turbocharging is comparatively complex than the supercharging as it is running on the exhaust gases of the same engine it may have some lag problem due to the discontinuous supply of energy in comparison with the supercharging because the compressor is rotated by the turbine the next we will see the pv diagram here you can see the pv diagram of without supercharging and with supercharging on left hand side you have a pv diagram of ic engine without supercharging so you can see the b portion it's negative work because due to the absence of supercharger whereas due to the presence of supercharger on right hand side pv diagram this 1 to 2 and again 6 to 7 is above the atmospheric pressure because the pressure of air is already increased with the help of compressor present in the supercharger and turbocharger so the mean effective pressure of the engine due to the presence of supercharger get increased the mean effective pressure can be calculated in left hand side diagram is area a minus area b upon stroke length into spring constant so it is obviously less whereas in right hand side the mean effective pressure will be obviously high so where c and d both are the positive work so area of c and plus area of d upon stroke length into spring constant and here we will get the more mean effective pressure than without using supercharges so this pv diagram clearly gives us idea about the difference of using supercharger and turbocharger and without use of supercharger and turbocharger so here we'll complete this introduction of supercharging and turbocharging in next lecture we'll see the ic engine systems thank you stay home stay safe